We need to get out there and do what we can for Mantle. We need to do what we can for everyone. What about Amity? And telling the world about Salem? We can't do this alone. We need help. Ruby's right. The Happy Huntresses are handling the evacuation better than we could. And there's a bigger picture. But Amity isn't even finished. It was still under construction. Doctor, what would you need to launch Amity now? Uh, we made decent progress on construction and fuel collection. All potentially manageable, but, uh... Amity was designed so that it couldn't launch itself without first being granted clearance from General Ironwood's terminal. Ruby, there is no way Ironwood will cooperate with us. But he doesn't have to. We just need the green light from his terminal, right? You want to go back to the Academy? Yeah, uh, actually, there is more than one terminal. The one in his office and, uh, one in the main Atlesian military compound at the base of the city. You'd have to get into the compound somehow, then, uh, get inside the operations room, and then... Oh boy, I might need to think about this some more. And just to clarify, this is the easy option? What you're saying is it can't be done. It's pointless. And even if you got the message out, there's no guarantee help would come. It's not pointless. Atlas is only Salem's current target. She's not hiding anymore, and once she's done here, she'll move on to the rest of Remnant. We need to warn them! Ruby, when we came here, we said we'd follow your lead. But things haven't exactly worked out. I just... There are people here who need us right now. That's something we can actually do. But this isn't about just Atlas. Ruby's right. It's about all of Remnant. They need to know in Vacuo, in Mistral, in Vale, what's coming. So they can prepare. Okay, okay. Then let's go for both. Get Amity up and running and evacuate Mantle. But that's how Salem got this far, by dividing us. We have to stick together. No. What Salem wants is to turn us against each other. Just like this. John has a point. We can work separately and still be united. Or... Let me take the relic to Salem. And maybe she will call off her attack on the kingdom. I don't think we can trust Salem to actually do that. And the moment she uses the staff to create anything else, Atlas falls onto Mantle. Nobody's turning you over to anybody. I think that's the one thing we could all agree on. <sighs> okay, then I guess we're going to Atlas. Can you help us get to that terminal? I... Uh... Suppose someone needs to help you bypass security. I'll go. Penny, we can't risk- I'll go. <sighs> do what you gotta do. I'm going out there to see what I could do. Gang. Go by the pharmacy. I was developing some new tools for you all before, uh, this happened. You're gonna need them. Nora? I'm going with Ruby. But what about Mantle? Oh, I'm saving Mantle. Because I actually believe we can do this. Especially given the massive Grim Horde outside the kingdom. I've never seen anything quite like this. It truly feels like the end of days. But the Atlas Eye is committed to updating the public until our dying... Uh, hey, wait! Uh. Citizens of Mantle, General Ironwood has abandoned you, but we have not. If you can hear this, gather any food and supplies you need to stay warm, then head to the Mantle Crater. The Grim are starting to make their way back into the city, but we can hold the line if we all come together. If we don't... You've all seen what's waiting for us out in the storm. It's time to show your teeth, Mantle. <gasps> all right, the others are definitely missing out.
Only take what you need. The crater? Are you sure it's safe out there? Absolutely, ma'am. <laughs> Way better than a hoverbike. Have the Grim already pushed this far in? No. I think those were more from last night. Still. Ren! If Jean hits you with his aura amp, think you can mask everyone? We can give it a shot. But it is a lengthy trip through Mantle. <laughs> no, no, that's a great idea. We'll have a grim free journey all the way to the crater. Do we really gotta shack up with those animals down in the slums? I'd feel a lot safer being up in Atlas. Yeah, I'm sure you would. But the people up top have decided you're not worth the trouble. The Faunus, on the other hand, have been willing to lend all the help they can, regardless of whether or not you deserve it. So, I'll just, I'll just go get our things then. people to just cooperate and yet it's something I'm becoming increasingly concerned about you know I really don't need your additional commentary right now you all have every right to be upset especially you Oscar I'm sorry I left you I'm not upset that you left I'm upset you came back I started to feel like me, not the same me I was before all of this, but the me I always wanted to be. I felt like I was actually part of the team. I understand, but even though it may not have felt like I was with you, I was never truly gone. You're gaining control of my remaining magic, recollecting my longest held memories, which means our two souls are still on the inevitable path to becoming one. But... I don't want that. Neither do I. Hey, you good? It's just a lot to focus on. You can do it, Ren. We're almost to the crater. I don't need a pep talk. I need to focus. Right. We need to find a way to work together. Not just the two of us. All of us. No, Crimson, I need you and your team over in Sector 11. Mantle police are helping us clear the hospital, but they're gonna need backup. Huh. You're doing great, Fee. Robin would be proud. I feel like you should be doing this after flexing on the news like that. <laughs> How else was I supposed to get the word out? Besides, it seems to be working. Where's this group coming in from? That would be Sector 7. You cleared 7 already? That's great! To be honest, I wasn't sure how you'd be doing without all of your teammates. Well, as you can see, we're doing just fine. Where are you putting everyone? We're working to get most of them settled in houses or other shelters. A large portion of the community is also trying to get old mine shafts into a livable condition. We've got a lot of people to keep warm. Looting the STC refineries is our best source of dust. Fortunately, no one's getting arrested during the apocalypse. Just knowing those Grimmer circling out there doesn't feel great. What are they waiting for? V. <sighs> We got another fight breaking out. Crap. Thanks, Uncle. We'll handle it. I'll handle it. You've got enough to worry about. Fiona, Grimson again. We spotted a decent sized group of Grim moving in from the east. Can't take him with all these civvies. Oh, for crying out loud. 
Did he say east? Fiona, that's one more problem taken care of. Good, because we're getting reports of more Grimm coming in from the west. The Huntsman there could really use some backup. <sighs> okay, we're on our way. It's all the negativity. Salem's forces aren't moving in, but it's enough to start attracting the stragglers. Guys, we're not finished. All right, we need to hurry this up and take... What just happened? They ran. I've never seen Grim act that way before. But what were they running for? Oscar!
repeat if anybody can hear me. We need transport back to Mantle. We need to get out of this weather before the cold drops our ores completely. How much farther to the outpost? Ren, how much- I don't know. I thought you said you saw it when you were up in the air. I did, before I had to cut myself loose to help you guys. Yeah, you've brought that up a couple times now. Something you need to say? Not really. Wouldn't want to waste any more time. Uh. Hey, what is your deal? Don't worry about it. Well, I'm sorry things aren't going smoothly enough for you. Guys. They're not going smoothly at all. I hate to break it to you, but that's part of being a huntsman. Are you kidding? We don't know the first thing about being huntsmen. We clearly weren't ready. Guys, stop it. Were we not ready when we saved Haven? When we took down a Leviathan? We got the lamp to Atlas. And then we lost it. And after that, when we had to make real decisions, we got every single one wrong. I'm not going to pretend like we did everything perfectly. But if we'd done nothing, things would be even worse than they are now. How could they possibly be worse? We are stuck out here while Salem has the lamp and Oscar. We've got no plan, no army. We've got the Maiden. And by keeping her from opening the vault for Ironwood, we're just trapping the whole city for Salem. People are going to die because of us. So what, we should just give Ironwood what he wants? Abandon Mantle? You think Atlas is still gonna be able to float to safety now that she's here? I don't know. But these aren't the kinds of decisions we should be making because we have no idea what we're doing. Okay, both of you, cut it out. I'm just saying what nobody else wants to. We're in way over our heads. Ruby is barely more than a kid. I'm just an orphan from the middle of nowhere. Ren, I You am cheated your way into bacon. You don't think we should be huntsmen? Fine. But I'm getting out of the cult. Still got a job to do. Seriously, is your goal just to push everyone away? Oscar? Don't panic. We're going to be okay. Uh, what? My long lost Ozma. Found at last. So small, this new host of yours. It's a wonder my hound didn't break you. It's been how many years since we saw each other like this, face to face? And nothing to say? I'm sorry the reunion isn't living up to your expectations. <laughs> You can pretend, boy, but you're not fully him. <clears throat> not yet, at least. <sighs> well, perhaps you and I can have a better working relationship. Oscar, was it? The beacon relic. My forces have been unable to locate the relic beneath the school. If I know my Ozma. He has used some means of deception to hide its location differently than the others. I need to know where it is. I... That's not something I know about. Of course. You would keep that one guarded as long as possible. How about something easier, then? The password for the lamp. The lamp is all out of questions. One of you is going to tell me what you know. I don't much care if it is you or Ozma. Either way, I'll finally have the relic. I 
won't tell you anything. Hmm. Hey, Sol. Wait. Wait. <laughs> that was for Haven Academy. <laughs> Everything that follows will be for my sister. You're right, Ren. I... I did cheat my way into Beacon. And I'm glad I had people around me to help me see that I was bigger than that mistake. You've got people around you, too. You don't have to force yourself to be strong. The more you hide from what you're feeling, the more alone you're going to feel. Trust me. If anyone cares, I found a part to fix the bike. So, yay! Good news. For what it's worth, I'm sorry he said that to you. I know you've had to work hard to get here, Jean. We're all under a lot of stress right now. I used to push people away, too. Do you... think she thinks less of me? For not helping out with Amity? Ruby is your sister. She's always going to love you, even if you disagree with each other. Yeah. Ruby. <sighs> I need to get some sleep, but I can't stop thinking about Oscar. Go on. I'll make sure Ren doesn't brood himself to death out in the cold. Thanks. I just have a bad feeling. Things always seem to get worse before they get better. Picking up an open comms broadcast. Play it. It's headed straight for Mantle. I repeat, a large, massive rim is headed straight for Mantle. Please, anyone. Great. You guys. Did you hear our message? It's right there. We need to hurry. Where's Penny? Are you serious right now? There are people in danger! There are people in danger because you kids are acting selfish and...
suicide bombs, missiles, but we can't make a dent, sir. Sir, Schnee here. Penny is still MIA, but we've apprehended Ark, Jalong, and Ren. Stand by for further orders, and don't let those fugitives out of your sight. Yes, sir. Of course. Still just following orders. This one did. If you would just let us go! Cease fire. Manta squads, concentrate on secondary hostiles. Command is working on a solution for the creature. What do you have in mind, sir? We aren't making any progress attacking the thing from the outside. But from the inside, it could be vulnerable. Science team is putting together a bomb. When it's ready, we'll drop it off as close to the target as possible. Then your team will deliver it on foot. Send you rendezvous coordinates now. Of course, sir. We will hold the point and we will get it done. Oscar's in there. You can't do this! That stunt you pulled. She'd have killed you if he didn't just pop up somewhere else. Still, you can make things easier on yourself if you start telling the truth. You've never wondered why she recruited you. You, specifically. To help her find the relics. We share a vision. She's gonna create a new world order. No kingdoms. And no Huntsman Academies. <laughs> new world order. No. When Salem gets all four relics, there will be no worlds left at all. Don't you get it? She's been alive longer than you can comprehend. All she craves now is release. Death. <sighs> Stop lying! <laughs> Salem can't be killed! When she came for me, I killed her over and over again. The longest she was gone was only a few hours before she put herself back together. When I couldn't lift my arms anymore, she showed me that through her, I could have the vengeance I needed. Oh, Hazel. Don't you see that is why she came for you? Because she could make you believe that this is what you needed? This is what you deserve! Yes! But Oscar, the people of Atlas, Remnant, you haven't done what you've done for justice. You've done it for yourself. Because she pushed you to think it would help you. Well, has it? But if Salem can divide humanity beyond repair, Bring all four relics back together. She believes that maybe their curse will be broken. The gods will rule against us and destroy Remnant once and for all. Nice story. But if Gretchen's death taught me one thing, it was never to trust you. Please, let me. But Oscar, you want him to trust us and trust me? Her name is Jin. Huh? You want her to come out of the lamp? Just say her name. She can still answer one more question. After all that, you're just going to give Salem the password? No. I'm giving you the password. And hoping you'll find the truth for yourself. You can't blow it up with Oscar still in there. That creature causes more damage every minute. We cannot wait. Please, Winter, give us a chance to try to rescue him first. We... we could be your test run. You don't know what'll be waiting for you inside, right? So we can go ahead to check it out. And look for Oscar while we're inside. You want to go inside that thing alone? Wouldn't you do it for Elm? Harriet? Vine? We don't let feelings get in the way of making the right call. Trading three lives for one is stupid. No, it's not. He's our friend. We will do whatever it takes to find him. Because we care about him. <laughs> I really had you pegged as the most level-headed of the bunch. But I guess you're just as naive. Feelings don't matter. The job matters. When you lose someone on your team, you move on. 
replace them. Like Mara replaced Tortuga and Winter replaced... No! No one is replaceable. You don't really believe that. You are furious about losing Clover. And you... You miss him. You don't know anything about me! That's why you lost against Team Ruby. You... You try to fight how you feel about each other, so you'll never truly work as a team. Shut up! You don't know what you're talking about! Everyone calm down! Fine. We will drop you as close as we can to the monster. You can't be serious. They're fugitives and traitors! I outrank you. If you aren't out in time, we drop the payload. No matter what. We understand. either. In fact, you don't want to be a part of it at all anymore. I... I have a job to do, and I'm going to do it. I know you don't either. to find Oscar. It's going to be like finding a needle in a giant whale. Why did we think this was a good idea? I... I might be able to help. I can sense spikes of people's emotions, I think. It happened on Winter Ship. If I focus my aura, I can keep it up. Okay. That's new. Maybe one of them is Oscar? I can sort of tell where they are, but not who. They're more or less in the same area, though. Further in. I can lead. Hey, you don't have to drain yourself. I can help too. Yeah, uh, good thinking. Thanks. Well, lead the way. She brushed off her bumps and bruises. Nothing hurt worse than the loneliness in her chest. I recognize that. The girl who fell through the world. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised you're so familiar with fairy tales. I've lived through my share of them. How are you holding up? I thought the idea of falling through Remnant into a new world was... exciting. I never understood why she was so sad when she finally made it back home. But no. It makes more sense. She wasn't the same girl anymore. Yeah. I think this plan to divide might have run its course. It's time we start thinking about a way out. Not having our cane certainly limits the options, so... No. I don't like what happens when we use magic. Every time we use it, I can feel us merging faster. Not ready for that. I don't blame you. Honestly, I think you're doing just fine on your own. <gasps> Why did you bring me here? 
I've been thinking about what you said. If it's a lie, and I took that lie to Salem, the punishment would fall on my head before yours. If what you said is true, and I use the password myself, well, I don't know what happens when this thing activates. So let's see if you're bluffing. You want me to summon her? Either way, it'll tell me what I need to know. What are you doing? Hmm. Let's find out. Jin. Did you have a question for me? <laughs> Actually, I think all my questions are answered now. What are you going to do? What Gretchen would have done. And that starts with getting you away from here. Both of you. I'm going to need something before I go. So, just to be clear, none of you have a question for me? No, but we'll be bringing you with us. The moment we move that thing, this place goes on high alert. Better to get you out first. But... I'll come back for it. Not like she knows the password anyway. <sighs> oh, sorry. <sighs> it's not your fault. I'm masking and tracking at the same time. Do you guys need a minute? <sighs> we don't know how much longer we have. Why don't you give masking a break? Give me directions and I can scout ahead. Thanks. We should be heading straight for a while. Hmm. Well, at least you guys being friends again takes the sting out of impending doom. It's okay to be afraid, you know. You don't always have to hide it with a joke. Glad I'm not the only one who's scared. Of course I'm scared. Him, on the other hand, there's no fear at all. I can see it. He believes we're going to get this done. Then I do too. Yeah, mask is right now. Let's do what we do best. Charge blindly into danger! <sighs> Would have gone with keep moving forward, but sure. Ren? Forward. No matter what. <sighs> you. No! Wait! Stop! <laughs> Oscar! <laughs> <laughs> I knew I sent some weak minds nearby. What's going on here? It's a long story. You're gonna have to try and summarize it. Why should we trust you? Because she's scared. Just like us. Or maybe because I know how to get out of here. Anybody coming? <sighs> We're almost out! What is that? It's her. You really have been honing that semblance of yours.
did you do with the lamp? Nothing. It's missing. Where is it? I didn't do anything with it. Where is it? What? These children? This ruined world? Why do you keep coming back? Why do you? All of this endless death. Because something bad happened to you once upon a time? Nobody gets a fairy tale ending. Everything I've lost. Every person I've lost is because of you. And who is it I've taken from you, girl? Summer Rose. My mom. Hmm. Her again. Your grace. Ah, Hazel. I found our guests. No! This one was helping them. Take the boy back to his chamber. I have work to do with this one. Yes, of course. against vengeance for your sister after all this time. I'm doing what Gretchen would have done. What's the status of our-
Are you okay? Where are you? Yeah, we're fine. Is everyone there all right? We're alive. This'll help, though. Yeah. Guys! They're okay! What do we do about her? Hazel? I'm sending you a map. You're in the agricultural area. Just head to this access point to reach the Red Line subway tunnel. Then follow the route I've drawn for you. Got it. We'll see you soon. You can't be serious. You want us to work with her? I'm just saying it makes the most sense. We're all enemies of Salem, including her. No, I'm with Blondie. You don't like me, I don't like you. So how about we just part ways and you never have to see me again? You're not going anywhere. Not after everything you've done. We can't let all of our actions stem from fear. If she could help us, I think we should consider it. She is part of the reason I have this. I'm not going to just forgive her. Everything that happened at Beacon, she lied to us, tricked us. She is dangerous. You don't have to forgive her. You have every reason to feel that way. Just maybe give her a second chance. We've already gotten quite a bit of help today from someone we don't exactly trust right now. Do you mean Ozpin? <laughs> I had a feeling. Wait, Oz what? Oz is back? I know how you feel, but he saved my life. And when we were tortured, he took it. So I wouldn't have to. He entrusted me with this, and the massive amount of power he had stored up in it. Kinetic energy that he spent lifetime after lifetime accumulating in the cane he built. So that's how you did that? Using all of the stored up power? Not all, but most. We have to be careful with how we use the rest. He trusted my judgment, and it saved us. I want to reciprocate that trust. There's a lot to sort out, but... Oz really wants to help. Thank you, Oscar. Okay. 